Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Augs, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. Now, if you guys are a little bit confused as to why I'm starting a new series, um, I did tweet out that we are going to be starting a new survival Minecraft series instead of our old modded Minecraft series. Um, just because, just, just a little bit of a taste and flavor and stuff like that. I've also just been really getting into some uh, vanilla Minecraft as well. So, let's go ahead and start up a brand new world. Uh, this is actually going to be called the Minecraft Survival, if I can spell, Guide. There we go. The Minecraft Survival Guide. And I know that a lot of people have done this before, um, but it's just something that I've really wanted to do for a while now. Alright, we're going to go ahead and name the seed the real Augs, just like that. So, you guys can actually copy the seed. Um, and play along with me as well. We're going to keep everything default. Um, I did turn cheats on. We are playing on hardcore mode, by the way. But everything else should be good. And let's go ahead and load into the world. Oof, there we go. A brand new Minecraft survival guide world. Now, I can't start this series without give it, giving credit where credit is due. Uh, so big shout out to Pixel Rifts for this idea. I've been watching a lot of Pixel Rifts as well as Waddles, uh, Etho, Iskal, you know, Gurian, Mumbo Jumbo, all those guys uh, just really giving me a lot of inspiration. Uh, so yeah, big shout out to you guys. And ooh, there's some bees over there. But yeah, this is going to be Minecraft Survival Guide. Now this world actually, I kind of I kind of looked around a little bit of this world um just to see what biomes are kind of nearby i wanted a you know a good mix of of different biomes and stuff and i think this one's actually actually pretty fair um as you can see there's a roof forest over there we have extreme hills there's like a birch forest nearby a jungle a desert there's like a bunch of stuff so there's a there's a there's a pretty good mix of of different biomes and it looks like there's already three sheep over here so that's pretty nice obviously the first day you just want to be gathering your supplies, gathering some some basic resources just to survive your first night. It's always kind of scary, especially since, uh, or if, you know, I mean, if you're playing on hardcore, it is a little bit scary. Um, but as well, just not being able to find sheep can be a little intimidating as well. Um, let's see. Let's make some sticks and we'll make a basic pickaxe. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm sorry. But I do have to murder some of you. It looks like there's four of you guys. So one of you can can live and and that would be that'd be good. There we go. Ooh, okay. Looks like there's a pretty decent cave already, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this is the Minecraft survival guide. So along the journey, uh, I will be kind of uh, showing you guys some of the things um, of what you should be doing in in a, in a Minecraft survival world. Now, I'm not going to go over, like, super basic stuff. Uh, I'm assuming that most of you guys kind of already know how to play Minecraft and all that. So, there's not going to be, like, super basic, like, how to move around and punch sheep and anything like that. But there is going to be some things as, as far as, like, setting up your, you know, your first base, going mining, and, and there's a lot. Especially since the, uh, the new 1.17 uh, Caves and Cliffs update has just recently released. We're actually playing on, I believe, 1.7... 1.17.1 yeah 1.17.1 uh it just actually released today which is kind of cool there was a lot of um kind of conversations about the ore distribution of diamonds and if it was fixed if it was ever you know moved or changed or whatever and uh, i think for the most part it's it's still the same um but they said that 1.17.1 did kind of fix it or change it up a little bit which is kind of nice all right, let's go ahead and actually get, yeah, let's get some stone. I was just going to get some more wood, but uh, if we get some stone, we can make the stone tools and all that, which is kind of nice. But uh, yeah, this is probably going to be a more chilled version of a, uh, of a Let's Play series. It's actually my first playthrough on Minecraft, uh, so that is kind of cool. I'm hoping to be consistent with this series. Um, hoping to be, you know, as consistent as I possibly can. A couple, a couple videos or a few videos a week should be, should be kind of nice. Um, but I'm really excited to, to jump into it and and kind of get it started. Cause uh, I'll be honest, guys, I've been wanting to play Minecraft for a while now. Um, I, I, I mean, I have played Minecraft, just not been recording it. 
uh, actually started playing Minecraft on the old Xbox 360. So I've been playing this game for a while now, just kind of on and off. But there's been a lot of changes along the way. And uh, I don't know, it feels really, really cool just to be able to, uh, to, to start recording a series. Because I've seen a lot of people do this and a lot of people that I really look up to. So I don't know. I think it's going to be really cool. And uh, yeah. All right, there we go. So we got some or a stone axe now, so we can actually harvest some of this wood. Dark oak is actually probably one of my favorite wood types, just because the tree itself, you get a bunch of wood on it, and you don't have to really worry about, like, floating trees and stuff, because for the, for the majority of the time, because they grow in these 2x2s, these, uh, these two you can kind of just climb up along the way and, and get all the wood. But the wood is also one of my favorites, just because it looks really, really, really nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to be gathering some resources. I probably will make a few cuts along the way, uh, but we're going to be getting some wood, get some more stone and things like that, make a full uh, set of stone tools, and I will be back with you guys in just a second. All right, sweet. So we just got a full set of uh, stone tools, got a little bit more wood. Um, we don't have too much, but we did get above a stack, which is kind of good. Got 12 more cobblestone after making a full set of stone tools. And it looks like a squid actually kind of offed himself, which is nice. I'll definitely take those ink sacks. Um, as far as setting up like a first time base, I'm not exactly sure where I want it to be. Um, I'm thinking maybe over here in the plains, just because it, it is kind of in the middle of some, some, uh, some biomes as far as like the roofed forest, extreme hills. I think over this way, there's like a bit of a birch forest, which is kind of nice. There's a taiga over there. So yeah, we'll probably set up a short temporary base or a small temporary base um, over here just as, uh, so we can, you know, get resources and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to set up probably, probably about here. Yeah, probably about here. Now we're not going to make anything too crazy. I'm not going to make like a, like a giant, you know, first starter house. I, I know other people can, can, can do that, but uh, I'm not as big of a builder. That's something that I would really like to improve on and get better within this series. Uh, so just, just kind of like building skills and everything like that. But I think we'll probably just make like a simple five by five. I think that should be decent enough. So let's see, what do we have? Dark oak and we have a little bit of regular oak as well if i can mix the two uh that could be kind of cool it could be kind of cool actually dark oak and then regular oak Ooh, there's a little bit of a hole here okay i'm thinking over here over here yeah look at that look at that there's a beehive right there that's actually really cool okay so if we can mix the two that'd be kind of nice i kind of like using oak wood or oak logs as a pillar uh so we might be able to do that actually no i don't think we have enough Actually, I don't think we have enough oak wood to be able to use as a pillar. Oh, no. Can I get a little bit more? No. Okay. It looks like the sun has started to go down, unfortunately. Uh, we do have a bed, though, which is, is kind of nice. So we'll do these as the pillar. And then, let's see. We don't have too many. Let's put turn them into planks. Let's see. Um. Oh, no. Okay. Just a simple five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully this looks decent. One, two, three, four, five. Literally just a simple five by five with pillars going out on the outside. It's a bit darker than I would have thought, but then again, we did get a lot of uh, dark oak, which which is is fine with me. I definitely do like the texture of it. Man, it it really does get dark fast in this game, huh? It's been a while since I've had to like actually restart in minecraft like vanilla minecraft because i've been playing in, a, in, a, in an offline world for a while now and i've got like diamonds and i'm completely set up but yeah it's been it's been some time okay let's do there we go hopefully we should be able to finish our house i'll probably just do it up three maybe and then let's see actually is three good no, we should do four. We should do four. I'm too much of a perfectionist for this. <laughs> I'm way too much of a perfectionist. Okay. One more level before the creepers start spawning in. Like I said, we are playing 
in hardcore mode. So I don't want to stay up too long. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. Okay. I don't want to stay up too long because then the creepers are going to start spawning in. I might just have to. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> we are sleeping in a house that is not done yet. Oh, but there we go. Hopefully that was quick enough so that no mobs spawned. I don't see any. Which is good. Yeah, if you can get it just before the uh, the mob spawn in, that's that's kind of what you want to go for, especially on your on your first night. Getting a bed that early, uh, getting sheep that early was insanely lucky. So I will definitely be be grateful for that. And uh, oh no, are we seriously one shy? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, what do we what do we have so far? Okay. I don't think this looks too bad, actually. I do like the framing of this. It might have looked a little better with regular oak, uh, regular oak wood, but I definitely don't think it's too bad. So I'm gonna go grab some more wood to kind of finish off this house. We might also use like uh, cobblestone for the flooring, which might look nice. Um, but yeah, I'll go grab some more resources, finish off this house, and then uh, and then I'll be back to, to you guys in uh, just a sec. Well, guys, I think this is what it is going to look like. Uh, it looks a little bit just like a wooden box, but I don't know. I feel like that's that's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. For a first starter house on the series, I feel like that's not too bad. We definitely need to patch this hole up. But basically, I just fixed the, uh, the missing log that was right here. Um, we have the framing on the house, and I used cobblestone for the flooring and the roof. So, I don't know. Hopefully, that doesn't look too bad. I feel like it doesn't look too bad. The uh, the colors kind of work together kind of nicely, I feel like. So, that is what our house looks like. Definitely not the greatest, but again, not the worst as well. Now, we have kind of a kind of a problem right now, guys. And, and that is that we don't have any food. Like, like no food. If you, if you look at the bottom right, that hunger bar is, is going down. And I'm a little worried because... I don't have any food so the fortunate thing about this is I, I don't see like a village I, I don't I don't think there's a village anywhere nearby but we are in a plains biome so I'm thinking if we can get lucky there might be some animals around I did see some donkeys that way and I'm not actually sure if they drop anything there are some bees over here with the beehive again there's no food in that I don't believe um, but there are some pumpkins up there, which could be kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna be looking around until hopefully we can find some animals. I think there's a sheep over there, actually. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, probably hunt some animals. We're gonna kind of have to, especially early on. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. This looks like it might be a, a big cave, actually. Now, I know that they didn't add the, uh, the caves for the... For the 1.17 caves and cliffs update i'm pretty sure that's coming in in the 1.18 patch but this one still looks good yeah that's got that's got a big drop in it nice okay there's some surface iron some copper and coal and everything like that i'll definitely i'll definitely take some i'm still a little bit worried though because if you don't get food and you are playing on hard difficulty if that bar drops down to uh to empty or it has nothing in it uh, yeah, you can actually starve to death. So, uh, that's, that's kind of a problem for us right now. And uh, I forgot to mention this, but, um, if we die, if we die at all in this pack, um, I, I have made a promise to myself that I will make to you guys. Uh, I will actually give up one item that, that, that is a prized item of my possession. So if that is a diamond pickaxe with fortune on it, then, then so be it. You know, if we die... We have to actually give that up. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully that gives me some motivation not to die. That would be that'd be nice if we, if we just didn't die the entire series. But 
if we ever do, then uh, then I'll definitely have to give up an item of uh, my prized possession. So hopefully, you know, we don't get to that point, at least not anywhere near the future. Oh, no, it is getting nighttime again. Okay, I'm going to go sleep and try and find a source of food. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, no, I'm literally getting to the point where I can't even run anymore. This is this is getting bad. Do these guys drop food? <laughs> I might, I know, I'm a terrible person. Uh, I might have to find out. Okay, that one didn't. Are you, are you, please drop me some. You dropped me leather. Okay. Oh, I do have mutton on me, actually, from those sheep that I, uh, that I killed earlier. But as far as any other animals, I'm actually not seeing any. A and plains biomes are supposed to have some animals in it. They're actually supposed to be kind of roaming with animals, but I'm not seeing any Except for sheep, like over here and over there, which is a little bit strange, not gonna lie. Um, alright, well. Oh, here they are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what have I stumbled upon over here? At first I only saw the horses, but we got cows and pigs and everything. Alright, yeah, I'll definitely be sure to take these guys. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. Literally, it doesn't it doesn't make make me feel good killing these animals. I kind of have to though. I need I need your food early on. This is very very important that we don't die. Ooh, okay. There's a little Ooh, there's a creeper. That yep. You guys see that? That's not good. Okay. I don't think he can get us. I don't think he can come up here, which is good. So, we're going to go ahead and kill these animals over here. And yeah, there's actually a bunch of them over here. This is this is good fun. This is good fun. I was wondering where they were hiding because I didn't see literally any over there. So it makes sense that they'd be, you know, somewhere somewhere nearby. What's up, dude? These horses are uh, pretty neat. I haven't actually ridden a horse in Minecraft in a while, so that is that is kind of neat. We'll probably have to get a saddle and and get one later on in this playthrough. That'd be That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there we go. Finally got some raw beef in the furnace, cooking up. And man, I love, 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 love me some steak. It always gives, I think, the most saturation, actually. Steak is definitely one of the best foods in Minecraft. I think golden carrots beat steak as the best food, but it's definitely up there as, as one of the best, for sure. Because it just gives so much saturation and fills your bar up a lot. So, that's always good. But, anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for episode one. We went mining a little bit, just on the surface, barely anything. Uh, but we got some resources and set up a decent-looking starter house. I definitely need to add some decorations and stuff like that into it. But, overall, I think it was a very, very good episode. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed and uh, the question of the day is, what are you looking forward to the most in this series? Let me know down in the comment section below what you're looking forward to the most in this series. I would love to know. And uh, yeah, that's been it. Hopefully, you guys, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.